The Hisuian Growlithe themed out to play event has just kicked off within Pokemon Go, and a lot of players are extremely unhappy with this event. I'm going to be explaining why in this video. Let's get right into it. Alright, how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Kanjinsula. I hope you're having a good day and welcome to today's Pokemon Go video. Today we're going to be talking about this out to play event that currently is ongoing within Pokemon Go. This is a very small event that is themed around routes and a lot of players were hoping that they would put a lot of fixes to routes for this event and it doesn't seem like there's a lot of changes. One of the core issues with routes ever since it was first released is the fact that there just isn't that many routes that exist within Pokemon Go. So a lot of players are not able to participate in this one feature. So they have an event currently going on right now that is themed completely around routes. For example, there is a time to research with this event that is all about completing routes. If you do not have any routes around you, it's going to be impossible for you to complete this timed research. And yeah, this has drawn a lot of player criticisms because Niantic is creating a lot of these game mechanics and a lot of content around a feature that not everyone has access to. In my opinion, it's really too early for an event like this. Like, yes, I do think that having routes themed events would be really good for Pokemon Go, but way later once the game is a lot more populated with routes. Because as of right now, it's not necessarily something that a lot of players have access to. Like within my own local neighborhoods, there's only about four or five routes and some of them are extremely long. So to fully enjoy an event like this, I was pretty fortunate because I do actually have routes in my area. But for a lot of people around the world, I would say a vast majority of people around the world, they do not have any routes near them. So they really do not have any ways of completing the timed research or enjoying some of the content and bonuses tied to this event. So because of that, I feel like Niantic completely dropped the ball. If they wanted to have an event like this to be successful, then I really think they should have done it way later once there's a lot more routes in within Pokemon Go. Now another criticism that I've seen with this in-game event is pretty common when it comes to in-game events, and that is the fact that there's not that many diverse spawns within the event spawns. In my opinion, I think this is not necessarily the case specifically for me, because I've been wanting a lot of Feebas candies, and of course, there's a lot of Feebas that are around. So I've actually had an incentive to go out and grind during this event, but for a lot of players, they do not necessarily care about Growlithe or Hisuian Growlithe, nor do they care about any of the other wild spawns that are currently available. I think because of that, it seems very boring, like especially compared to the non-event spawns as well as the events that we just recently had. There's a lot of cool spawns that were within those events, so when it comes to this event, it just seems like it's very lackluster. I think what Niantic should have done is had the boosted shiny rates like what they did with the Ultra Unlocks. I think that would have been really good for some of the Pokemon that are spawning because as of right now, it just seems like there's no real reason for you to go out and grind the Pokemon that are currently available. Like if they gave a boosted shiny rate to Growlithe, for example, I think this event would have been a little bit more worthwhile. But as of right now, it's really hard for a lot of players to want to go out and grind, even for XL candies. So yeah, all in all, I am somewhat disappointed by this event. But again, I do think that for some players, they are actually going to enjoy this event. There's a lot of incentives for you to go out and do routes. So if that is something that you actively do, then you are going to have a better experience. But for a lot of players out there who do not have routes or do not care for routes, this event is pretty forgetful. And I do think that Niantic really dropped the ball by having an event like this when there's just not that many routes to begin with. So yeah, I really hope these are some of the things that Niantic considers. Again, I do think there's some positive changes to Pokemon Go that have already arrived. And I do think that Niantic is trying to be mindful of the player experience. I just don't think this event was really contributing to that. But maybe it's just me and my own opinions, but I would love to know your thoughts down below. What do you think about this out to play event? Are you actually enjoying it or do you agree that it is a disappointment? Definitely share why in the comments and let's have a great discussion. And thank you so much for making it to this point in the video. If you ended up enjoying it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if it's your first time here so that you don't miss out on any videos that I upload. And if you want to support my channel in a big way, you could do so by joining my Patreon. For all of my Patreon members, they get a permanent spot on my in-game friends list. So if you want to interact with me in some way within Pokemon Go, like with remote raids, then do consider joining me on Patreon. And if you want to support my channel non-monetarily, you could always do so by following me on social media. My handle is at Conscienceola, and I'm on the following platforms. All right, and that's going to be it. I'm Conscienceola. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.